Hello everybody, Acorn Man here with another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're going to be talking about the 75302 Imperial Shuttle. This set has 660 pieces and was released last year in 2021. And since then I've seen this set get a really bad rap. But what do I think about it? I'll just have to break it down and see for myself. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. And as always, we'll start by taking a look at the minifigures. Alright, so in this set we get three minifigures, the first of which is Darth Vader, and this is... Probably the best Darth Vader minifigure I have in my collection. I just love this robe detail that extends all the way from the chest to nearly the bottom of the legs there. Very accurate and something they really didn't need to include, but I'm definitely glad they did because it looks fantastic. I also really love this helmet mold. I think it has the more uh, rounded look of Darth Vader's helmet as opposed to the old one that was more squared off on the top. When you take it off, you'll see that the bottom half remains just as it does at the end of Return of the Jedi. Definitely a very, very cool detail, and I love the face print on this as well. Next up we have Luke Skywalker, unfortunately a lot less detail on him. As you'll see, he is mostly just black, with a few light gray exceptions on the back there. Although his outfit was pretty simple, so I'm not really sure what additional details they could have put on there. But next to that Vader minifigure, he does come off looking a little bit too simple. He does, however, have an extra face print. I'll go on and take off this hair piece so you can see it. He's also got a little smiley face back there. And lastly, we have an Imperial officer, which is supposed to kind of double as a pilot. Obviously not the last time Lego would do this, but he's got a decent amount of detail. We've got some nice leg print there and a slightly metallic finish on his comm piece there. So he's a pretty good looking minifigure. Very simple, obviously, but you couldn't really have asked for much more. And here it is, the Imperial Shuttle itself. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of people have given this set a lot of crap since it came out last year, and honestly, I think it's pretty unwarranted. I think this set overall has a great look, and a pretty good amount of detail for its size as well. At the front here, we have an opening cockpit. Unfortunately, though, the wing kind of bumps up against it, and it makes it difficult to open and close. So I will admit, that's a pretty fair criticism. That's definitely a couple points off of this set, because I definitely don't think it would have been too hard to just move this wing back a little bit, but we do have plenty of space to sit our pilot in there, so I'll go on and do that, and he can stay snug in there for the rest of the video. Well, now it's closing pretty easy, that's weird. I do understand people's criticisms about this little area here coming out from under the head that is definitely not accurate, but for most angles you really can't see it, so I really don't think it's that big of a deal, but I do have to knock a point off for accuracy. As well on the front you can see we have two sets of turrets and a stud shooter, same thing on the other side here. We also have some very simple landing gear on the bottom, which I always appreciate. And of course the wings on this set are movable. And I already thought this set looked great before, but with the wings out, it just looks fantastic. Yeah, I'm really struggling to just fit the whole thing in frame for you guys, because it really is just that big. Coming around at the back, we also have some nice detail here, which I always appreciate. I'm not really sure if these are supposed to be like mini guns or thrusters. I just keep them folded down, so I'm not really sure whether or not to call that playability, but it's something, I guess. Alright, so to get inside of the ship, all you have to do is push this little gray knob back and lift up. And as you can see, we have a little interior space in here. Not a whole lot, but enough for a minifigure or two to sit down. Not really a whole lot of playability there, but a little bit extra, I suppose. Alright, I believe that covers everything for this set. And what do I think of it? Honestly, I really love this one. While I do think they could have done better on some of the details and probably included some more minifigures as well, I think it has a pretty good amount of playability and functionality. And maybe it's just because this is one of my favorite ships in Star Wars, but I think it looks great as well. So I guess I am a bit biased here. So overall, I give this set a 7 out of 10, if they would have handled uh, this situation a little bit better. And maybe thrown in a couple of Imperial Guards as well. Probably would have been a 10 out of 10 set for me. But as it is, I still really like it, and I highly recommend you pick one up. Alright, so I think that'll about do it for this review. Make sure to leave a comment or a like, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.